Uh, blur. Food and wine. Food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. Guys, come on. I'm just kidding. We all know it's Fantasmic Fridays. And we're back. We took a week off because of the Halloween party. Gonna enjoy some. I think I got. I gotta look at my phone, but I think I got Tower Terror and Rock and Roll Coaster. Good times before Fantasmic. But look at the sky. Look how beautiful the sky is over here. Dun dun dun. So, I want to get off work at three o'clock every day. We never even said it. You got off work. Yeah, I got off work early, three o'clock, and I'm off Monday. So this is literally the longest time I will have off of work since we moved here because we got here on a Friday and I started two days later on Monday. And I've been working the normal Monday through Friday life anyway. So we're gonna have a lot of fun this weekend. And french fries. <laughs> oh, we're getting french fries. But it was nice because we were able to go home, eat dinner, do productive things like hang things, do the dishes, come to the park, met, uh, talk to some of our friends on Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood? We were talking to one of our friends on Hollywood Boulevard for the past like 30 minutes. It was a good time. And now it's time for our back-to-back -back fast passes for two, 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 two. Oh, Joffrey's, how you taunt me so much. We're about to test Sarah. Hold on. For what? We're about to test you. What? What am I thinking right now? She failed the test. What I was thinking is nobody's in this park. Oh. Look at this. We used a fast pass, but. It still said it's 60 minutes. Right? right, there's a longer wait inside, but still it's. There hasn't been a time where since we moved here where there's not been guests outside. Yeah. And that was like Tower of Terror too. So maybe Fantasmic will be just for me and Sarah tonight. Special showing. Just the Brook Art Project presents Fantasmic. Hey, don't mind us. We'll be finished in just a minute. Yeah. My first time ever on this, I didn't gel my hair and I had like hair down the ears. I'll put the photo in. Right now. Hello, Los Angeles. Bill St. James here, broadcasting live from the Aerosmith concert. Seems like everyone in town is heading to this show, so there's traffic everywhere you go. What do you do for our photo? Everybody go like this when we blast off. RIP to my second favorite breakfast joint in all of Disney World. This little cafe that was always busy and congested gave us the best service and delicious food. Star and Rolls Cafe. Their sandwiches were like this tall. Oh, yeah. They were so good. Star and Rolls Cafe second only to Main Street Bakery which has since also changed. Still delicious. Just not the Main Street, Main Street Bakery that we knew. We don't go there every time. Right, but it's not the Main Street Bakery that like we, Sarah grew up with that I learned to love working here and living here, because Starbucks took over, which is still delicious. It's just a different kind of food.
gosh. I would have to go back and see how many days it's been. It's all covered. What for? Why? What are they doing? Wow, we came over here to go see how how this was looking. And look at, there's like drapes up there. Weren't drapes up there before. Those were all open. But we came to check all this area out before we got our spot for Fantasmic Friday. And this is boxed up. Sarah's brand new shoes are destroying her. Wait, what? Your shoes. They're hurting me. They're hurting her. I kind of knew that they would though. Like, when I put them on, I was like, these are gonna rub me tonight, aren't they? We kind of have to get used to shoes like that. Is there any other way to do it? Um, you could uh, pay your little sibling to run around in them. We'll break them in for you. There's gotta be a better way. <laughs> but at least, like Sarah just said, we're here for like two or three hours, not a full like 12-hour park day. It's morbid. We haven't had pizza. I just had a discussion today at work about where in the world is there a good pizza in Orlando, not on Disney, because... If you know, leave it in the comments. Yes, because we're big pizza people, not just deep dish. Everybody thinks we're like obsessed with deep dish because we're from Chicago. But the thing is, people, Chicago does great pizza. That, actually. Not just deep dish, but Chicago does great any kind of pizza. So I just want a, I just want a good pizza. And I don't know where to get it. And I need your help. And I'm really emotional because I got really scared for a second because Mama Melrose's was like shut down. Like lights off, cart in front of it, guest relations person, like manager in front of it. And I was like, I got really scared. I thought it was closed. And like, I never heard the announcement that it was closing forever. We asked and the woman's like, no, it's for technical difficulties. Which makes me curious of why is it down? Hey, be nice. Be nice to each other. <laughs> they're just really amped up because the Indiana Jones stunt show is right here. And they were watching, so now they're trying to be their own stunt people. Oh, get him. Get him, get him. Oh my god. Be careful. Oh, look at him. Where'd the third one go? Hey, look, a couple of rodents looking for a theme park. What's that from, everybody? Do you know? I don't know. That's why I said that. I'm not a rodent sister. I'm a bunny. And I'm his gopher. Ta da! Some Hercules. Pain and Panic are dressed up. And that's what Meg says to them. Oh, look, a couple of rodents looking for nothing. I've never seen Hercules. Victory with vegetables. Rosie's Victory Garden. What are you jonesing for? French fries. She's, corn dog. She wants corn dog nuggets. We're going all the way to Magic Kingdom now to go get Casey's nuggets. Right? Oh my god, cast member Marlene from Hollywood Studios just made our Labor Day weekend. We go up waiting this long line at, at um, Sun Tree Ranch. It's, we should be in Illuminations getting ready for our spot. Or Fantasmic, sorry I'm all flustered because I'm so happy. <laughs> um, because we needed, we should be getting a seat for Fantasmic. But it's okay for the top, there's not a bad seat in the house. We go up there just to get an order of fries and two cups of water. And she's just the sweetest cast member, she's like, really? Come on. I'm like, really? We just need a little snack, a little something to fill us up to hang, tie, hang us, tie us over, <laughs> tie us over until the end of Fantasmic. And look what she gave us. Look at this. Sarah got her dipping station, we got chocolate mousse, water, french fries, french fries, and nuggets. And coleslaw. You just made our night. Sarah's about to cry. Let's dig in. Okay, it looks like a bad storm is coming in on the radar and it's like windy and cool for once here it's like a cool wind and there's lightning and ominousness and it's a little freaky but we finished our amazing <laughs> unexpected dinner thank you so much marlene and now we got our dessert confession, we ate peanut butter and jellies in the car on the way yes here. confession we live in disney world but that sometimes that means you make interesting dinners like you get off work early and you want to spend time in the parks but don't want to spend all your money because it's food and wine season Make a PB&J for dinner, on the road. But then Walt gives you some magic and you get complimentary chocolate mousse and, and pocket nugs. <laughs> so the pandemic starts at 14 minutes. And we're still not in there. We also saw on the radar, it looks like it, it's gonna start raining any minute, so what should we do? We don't know if we should wait it out and see if it's gonna start or if we should just go sit at the top with our ponchos on. Either way, we'll be prepared if it happens or not.
Alright. 8.24. Phantasmic's supposed to start in six minutes. It's looking very eerie out. Look at these. <laughs> look at these creepy palm trees with all the wind. They were right on cue. It's creepy out. And it's starting to rain. But it's Fantastic Fridays, y'all. We gotta we gotta do it. Try. We gotta try for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we walk up in the cast member in a okay, big old. Just thing. to be fair. Just said had, had we have just got in French fries, we would have walked right in the show and been told while we were in there. And we got all that food and it took us a long time to eat. And had we not, we would have been in there. What are we gonna do now? Wanna go to Chili's? <laughs> I think we're gonna go to Chili's. Disclaimer, we don't go to Chili's on Fridays, but Chelsea and Kristen always do. And we kinda owe it to them to go. Cause that's their like Friday night routine. I don't get it, but it's their thing and we love them. So I think, I think we all meant to at least go this Friday, right? Yeah. We'll bring you along. <laughs> this is why I wanna be a, a father so bad. It's for this reason right here. <laughs> So when I forget my poncho, I can just use my child as an umbrella. <laughs> we made it. We're at this... <laughs> what? We're at Chili's. We're at Chili's. It took us over a month, literally the day we moved here. I don't know if, I think I may, may have mentioned it before. Chelsea and Kristen, because it's like their thing to go on Fridays. And we're we got like, here on Friday. We got Friday. here on Friday. They helped us unload our U-Haul and we're like, let's go to Chili's we, uh, to celebrate you moving here. And we were like... We gotta settle in. We gotta settle in. It was also like, we're not gonna go to Chili's when we move to Disney World. We can go to anywhere in Disney before we go to Chili's, but it's day raining one is still. different than day. Day like 35. 35 yeah. Um, but let's go see. All right. So, uh, Sarah and Peter surprise surprise and it's the best thing that has ever happened. If I wish we got the surprise. Now, I know this sounds kind of cheesy, going to Chili's, but when you come to Chili's in Florida, it's literally it's a different, different experience. It's because like, like a dive bar. No. It's almost like a dive bar. Exactly. It because in Florida, there it's so big and there's so many chains. And there's so many people from all over. So, so it's everywhere. Turn Peter, turn over here. Melinda, can you say hi real quick? As you can just see, the vlog got taken over by Chelsea and Kristen. But we are home safe. Um, we had a good night at Hollywood Studios. Had a good time talking to some of our new friends. Yeah! Um, and it was yeah. a good time going to Chili's. So now we're good. We don't have to go back for like another <laughs> six or seven or eight or nine months. We um, have to look out for a Chelsea Kristen sport spin off yes. channel. They're, they're thinking about starting their own <laughs> Chili's vlog. Uh -huh. um, but they love it there. and. They've made like a new little family there, so it was nice to experience it and see what they've always been talking yeah, about. But you meet all the people. She's sick. I'm starting not to feel so hot, so we're gonna go to bed early, even though it's Friday. Because mm -hmm. um, we have an early day tomorrow, we're gonna get up early because little Miss Muppet over here has a vet appointment at 10 a.m. So we're gonna. Try I have to get... some design work. I still have to work on over yes. the weekend, but so, hopefully I'll get it all done tomorrow, so then I'll be able to enjoy the rest of it. Except oh. Eve is. Wired right now. Yeah. We came home and she was like trying to escape out of the apartment We have an early morning to get stuff done around the apartment and for work like Sarah said before we bring Eve to the vet But we have some friends that you'll meet tomorrow that we're very Yay! excited to hang out with and we're going back yes. to Epcot I'm so excited food and wine food and wine everybody loves food and wine It's good to be home. It is good to be home
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.